Today, we're looking at vocalists hitting high notes in over 10 octaves of range. What can you learn from these amazing high note singers and how can you start to do it yourself? Let's go. Ooh, let's go. Okay, starting with number 10, we have Rochelle Farrell. <laughs> Woo! Up to B5 right there. That's the F sharp. Ooh, up to an E flat six there. Man, that's awesome. Wow, there's so much good stuff there. Both head voice and whistle register. Okay, number nine, let's look at Prince. Purple Rain, there we go. Doing kind of that signature Prince scream that he does so well. Woo! Thank you! Good B flat five up there. <laughs> he does that super squeezy, streaky stuff. I love it so much. Man, it's gonna be hard to beat the theatrics of that. All right, at number eight, let's check out Renee Fleming. E6 up there. Woo! And it's really cool how you notice that her vowel shape changes as she starts ascending to go up to those higher notes. The more that she's dropping that jaw, the more resonance she's able to get up there. Okay, at number seven, let's look at Adam Lopez. That is <clears throat> I'm not sure what that note was yet. F sharp. F sharp. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> off the keyboard. Off the keyboard. It's C sharp and it's off the piano. Yes. Woo! Way to go, Adam. All right, at number six, let's check out Ariana Grande. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> That is a really, really well controlled whistle. And notice how like, you know, she's just kind of like squeaking it out. There's a little bit of breathiness in that whistle. That's very, very common with whistle registers. She's not pushing or straining her voice in order to do that. Okay, at number five, let's take a look at Mike Patton of Faith No More. Yeah, that's a B. Oh, wow. Woo, E7, oh my God. Oh, Mike, I'm so worried. Please don't hurt yourself. You know, the cool thing about something like this is like sometimes, you know, if you're doing the squeezing in a way that's not damaging your voice, you're able to get some amazingly crazy high notes out of it. All right, at number four, let's look at Vetus. Very, very cool, up to that C6. Woo, C6 there. on that ah vowel. And number three, let's check out Georgia Brown. Ooh, if you have sensitive hearing, don't watch it. Are you back? Are you back? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. G10, way off of the keyboard. All right, at number two, let's look at the queen, Mariah Carey. Ooh, C sharp seven, oh my God. I love how you can tell how real that is. Whew. It's so controlled. Oh my God, doesn't it just drive you crazy with jealousy? All right, before we get to number one, let's take a look at the honorable mentions today, starting off with Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses. Man, look how open that is. He's so cool. He's he's such a good example of that pharyngeal voice, that kind of ugly, witchy sound that's so helpful in getting you to your high notes. Next up in the honorable mentions is my boy, Freddie Mercury. Mmm, that's a nice A4. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Love that A flat five. Next, let's check out Celine Dion. Woo, she can rip and run up there too. I got the <laughs> Yeah. Just so easy for her on that A5. Next, let's check out Corey Taylor of Slipknot. It's a good A4. That's awesome. 
And of course, for vocal range honorable mentions, we have to look at Brendan Urie of Panic at the Disco. Yeah. A flat five. Someone like Steve Perry. All right, for our best high note singer, it has to go to the one, the only, the Mash Kudai, but again. Woo! You can't fake that. Oh my God. F6. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yep, F sharp seven. Oh my gosh. Off the keyboard. It's gone. It's gone. Dimash, you earned your spot. Congratulations. Enjoy this list? Click here to see the top 10 guitarists who sing ranked.